looking good. Is everyone on? Shelly, Eustace, Pickle, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? Okay, we're ready. Hey, it's me. Today, I have an itch. Oh. No, I have one here. Today I am doing another episode of art things to do, to do, to do. When you're bored, you're bored, you're bored, you're bored. Let me tell you, I am so excited. You don't know it yet, but this is a very special episode. I have things to show you. My jaw just cracked. Could you hear that? I have some different activities that you can do when you're bored. Art, craft, DIY, creative activities. That's the blanket or the umbrella, whatever. The point of this series is, well, to cure the state of boredom. There is no reason that a person should become bored. I haven't been bored in months, possibly years, because there are so many things to do. Boredom, we can eliminate it together. I guess we should get into the activities. Cue the clipboard. I have my handy dandy clipboard specifically for this series and a blank piece of paper. You don't lick Sharpies, that's not what we do. Okay, idea number one. Turn anything into cake. I like it. To turn anything into cake, the first thing you need is something, anything. I have chosen this box. This is just a little cheapy box from the dollar store. I customized one of these a long time ago. Where is it? Mm? Do you remember this? Probably not. Look at that, same box. Oh, I put my little signature on the inside of the lid. How cute am I? This is pre-gessoed so that I don't have to sit here and gesso. I'm trying to save you from having to watch me gesso. Yet another item. What do you mean you wanted to see me gesso? This is kind of an unimaginative item to choose because like it's kind of in the shape of a cake. I could have chosen any item. Like I could have chosen a shoe, a hairbrush, a chapstick, a... But first what I wanna do is decorate the box. So I'm just gonna paint it. I need a palette, a nice little paintbrush, a lovely luscious chocolate color. It's my paint, my paint. Look at that. Just apply this on the box. I'm just gonna go up to where the lid ends because I don't want the paint making it hard to put the lid back on. Okay, and let those dry. And I'm gonna go get a sandwich. And go pee. <clears throat> okay, hi, I'm back. My sandwich was an incredible experience. My pee went well too. And this is dry. It's gonna need another little coat of paint. My paintbrush. Huh, why am I not using my rainbow paintbrush? Let's continue with coat number two. Oh, it's getting so appetizing. All right, I got my chocolate box. Very chocolate. And now I'm gonna add some details to make it look a little bit more cake-like, like a white layer of frosting. So I'm just gonna keep going, decorating this all around except for the top because I have special, special plans for the top. box. It kind of doesn't look like cake. It looks more like a wax more pudding. I don't know what that is, but I think I've invented something. The important thing is it looks desserty. Now is the fun part. This, this is caulk. You know, like what you put in your shower. It came from Home Depot. If you were here last week for my thrift store makeover, you will have already seen me do this. I loved it so much, I needed to do it again. But this is different. Cut into this bad boy. And I have a piping bag. I have a cup. It's a very dirty cup because I use it for paint water. Here we go, put my piping bag in there. Squeeze the product into the cup. Ha 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 ha, I got this in the bag. Here we go. It comes out so smooth and graceful and it looks just like frosting. I'm not done. I have my fake fruit basket. We can top it with a little cherry. Fake little chocolate chips. These are adorable. I'm just gonna add a couple in there. Finally, of course, we must.
there it is. Okay, <laughs> it looks amazing. That is so fun to do. I'm also shaking because it's really scary. It's not like painting where if you make a mistake, you can just easily like paint over it and fix it. If you make a mistake, like everything is ruined and the whole world comes crashing down. So it's super terrifying in a fun way. This is my kind of adrenaline rush. That's enough for me. That gets my heart pumping. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like a dessert. I don't know if it looks like cake, but either way, it looks delicious and I love it. Next, this is a big idea. This is gonna take some explanation. I'm getting nervous right now. Oh gosh. Idea number two, spark. <sighs> I'm hyperventilating. This is spark. <clears throat> Hold up, let me explain. Let me just talk. Just let me talk. I cannot believe that I'm finally introducing this to you guys. Spark is a brand new art app that I'm releasing today. The, yeah. <coughs> I'm choking on nervousness. It has been such an important, long, long project for me behind the scenes for the past two years. Who knew it would take so long to create an art app? Me, I know now, and it's not just me. There's a whole team of people dedicated to Spark. The loose inspiration for Spark was my Create This Book. If you're not familiar with my Create This Book, it's basically a prompt book. Every page has a different art prompt on it, and it just helps get your creativity going. So I wanted to do something in the digital world. I wanted to create a fun experience where you can play with art. There are so many things about it that I want to tell you all at once, and my mind is very chaotic right now. Before I just go off and off and off and off and off, and say way too many words. Let me just show you it. All right, so let's open the app. Oh, hey, look who it is. That's Opie. Hi, buddy. And a little musical moment. You get some music when you first open it, which is very fun and exciting. Let's pump up the energy. Welcome to Spark. It is your own little creativity studio. Isn't it freaking aesthetic? I have a plant. I have couch. And this is Opie here. Opie is my cat, by the way. Opie is actually very helpful in this app. For once, he's helpful. For once. If you tap on him, you can see an explanation for everything. Let's look at the main event here, which is the easel. This is where you come to create. Tap easel, start creating art. The easel will provide you with three different prompts every single day. These are your three sparks of the day. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Are we having fun? Now, one of the really special things about Spark, there's a whole community aspect of it. The inspiration gallery is where you get to see the art from other people using the app. So cool. Currently, this is just a small community of people who are helping to test the app. But of course, once this video comes out and everyone knows about Spark and starts downloading it, um, you better download it. This community is gonna get a whole lot bigger. And then you've got my gallery right in the middle. Hi, I'm here, look at me. Yeah, that's why that's there. These are some of the accounts that I'm currently following. People are making some amazing things. Look at this, it's freaking beautiful. If you tap on somebody else's artwork, you can see what spark they got. Tap on the spark and bam, you're ready to create your version. Let me take you to my personal gallery. And these are all of my creations that I've made. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of them. Oh, they're so pretty, they're so pretty. This one, for example, you start with image of a tree and this is what I did with it. This is one of my favorites, Venture Under the Sea. I created Pickle as a seahorse. <laughs> I made this sprinkle blob. <laughs> cool. Draw a dancer, this precious little girl. Sketch the night sky. Draw an alien. Create a bouquet. I don't know why a toad with a bouquet growing out of its head was my first instinct, but she lives. This is one of my favorite ones. I love that toad. I think it's finally time to actually create. <laughs> Stylus out. You can just use your finger if you want, but for me, a stylus is so much easier. You get a lot more control. You can do a lot better details. I got it in a four pack on Amazon. They're like $3 a piece. Going into the easel, create a best friend. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so what kind of best friend do I want? Someone who's soft, like a cloud. But I also kind of want it to be a cat. A cloud cat? You know what, I'm gonna throw a background on here. What should we do? I like that one. I gotta sketch this and figure out exactly how I want this guy to look. Mm, yeah, that's it. There's this little cloud body. Oh, it's so 
cute. I think there needs to be like a light ray under him to show that he floats everywhere. That's how he gets around. He doesn't walk like a cat, he floats. Just drop the opacity of this yellow. Create a little beam of light. That's fun. A phone is a small screen to create on, so you can click this little button here and you can zoom to give you a lot more control. And then when you're done, zoom and you're back. Now, if you know digital art and you've used something like Procreate before, Spark is not Procreate. It's not supposed to be like Procreate. I love Procreate, but it is a serious art tool. Spark is simple. You're not gonna make the most complicated, realistic art on here. This is where you come every day to get little bits of inspiration and little bits of creativity. It's more just about the experience of being creative. Art doesn't always have to be about making the perfect masterpiece. This app is for anyone and everyone who enjoys being creative. This is where art is just for fun. Okay, here he is, the ultimate best friend, plus soft as a cloud. And, oh, let me not forget the whiskers. Y'all get very upset when I forget the whiskers. I don't know what this is, but I love it. I am gonna name him Fluffy Buddy, which I have placed right here. I feel like this needs to be a whole species like the fluffy buddies, cloud animal hybrids, and they are the ultimate comforts for human beings. We need like glitter and lights. I'll just add this. Ooh, -hoo. look at those twinkle fairy lights. And it's done. Ta-da! Put that in my gallery, baby. Yes, there it is. So satisfying. Perfect. There's also a spark that is actually a multiplayer game. The mode that we have right now is monster it. You start the head of a monster and then you send it to a friend. They make the middle and then they send it to somebody and then they make the bottom. I actually have four monster it games that I've saved to reveal. Number one, there's the head I drew and here comes the body. <laughs> Clearly my co-creators have gone all out in the costume area. Let me see the next one. I actually love that. What is it? I don't know, but it's kind of cool. Next. This one is like kind of cohesive. Like it kind of looks like it was done by one person. Okay, last one. That's chaos. That is chaos. <laughs> Are those chicken legs? I think I'm gonna choose one more spark to do. Invent a new food. Sounds right up my alley. Let's go. What if I were to combine some of my favorite foods? Burritos, pizza, a pizza burrito? How would you even do that? Okay, I'm gonna try to make this work. Blue is always a safe option for background color. We have the shape of a burrito. What if we make pizza just like wrapping around? I feel like there needs to be a dessert element though. Okay, so maybe we have a scoop of ice cream on top. Yeah. You know what, since I'm doing something dessert, I feel like I want a nice sprinkle pattern in the background. The sprinkle song plays when you use the sprinkle pattern, just for fun. There we go. Okay, let's make this atrocity happen. Okay, and there it is, the dessert pizza burrito. It looks so weird. I had a lot of fun making this actually, so I will keep it looking fine. Okay, so those are the two sparks that I'm gonna do today, but I will be doing many more in the future, so if you wanna see what I continue to make, download Spark. It is free to download, and I will put the link in the description. Also in the description is a link to the Discord community if you wanna join that as well, and I cannot wait to see what you create. Okay, thank you. Finally, the last idea for this video. Create an animal trinket dish. Right, trinket dish. Trinket dish. I've seen these things everywhere, okay? Little animal-shaped trinket dishes made of air-dry clay. Have you seen these? I haven't actually made one of these before. The idea of forming one of these by hand is a little bit intimidating, maybe. So what I've done in my head is try to come up with an easier process for doing this. Full disclosure, I haven't actually tested this. I've tested it in my head, and in my head, it goes very, very well. But you know, this might go incredibly wrong, and we might all just have to have a good cry at the end of it. Hopefully, this goes according to plan, and I've come up with a very easy way to create an animal trinket dish. <laughs> Revolutionary. If I'm successful here, it'll probably be in the history books. What do we need? A big block of air dry clay. I've been using a lot of the fluffy child's clay recently. <laughs> I'm gonna break out my actual air dry clay. I don't know if this is like professional quality. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, really. It's clay. 
A non-stick surface. Cookie cutters. <sighs> Ow, I just hit my foot. Starting with my wax paper as my surface. Now, mm, is it fresh? Oh, it's fresh. It has that clay smell like creative dirt. Big fat cream cheese. We're just gonna get like this amount. I feel like a rolling pin might actually have been beneficial here, but I hate rolling pins. They just never do the thing. I think I might need more clay actually. Scratch that, it's not this. It's this. Got it? And just squash it down. I'm starting to wonder, is this gonna work? Once I've gotten it kind of even and the thickness that is good, I got this set of animal head cookie cutters. What do we have here? We've got, the heck is that? Looks like a little girl with pigtails. A bear. I like how big and round the cat one is. Take the cat and just go ahead and cut that cookie. Remove the excess. Hopefully this doesn't stick. Okay, perfect. Perfect, alive and well. Now for the trinket dish, obviously you need like little walls, so it's a dish. So this is where my vision for the process gets a little fuzzy. Okay, I think I'm just gonna roll out a big clay snake to go completely around the shape. Take our cookie. Where are my clay tools? And I'm just gonna score around. Score along both pieces. That is the official recommendation. Take a little water and just push the edge onto the dish. Cut the tail off. Now from here, I'm thinking I can just kind of like smooth these pieces together. Is this working? And then you can always use the cookie cutter to kind of check your shape. You know, check if you're getting a little wonky because that can happen, you know, because I've done this <laughs> so many times. I just know. I think it's kind of somewhat working. I kind of want it. What the heck, Georgie? I can't really save you right now because I am covered in clay. I'll pick you up later. All right, flip that around. What is happening? It's eating my wax paper. Look at this. Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually seen the process of somebody making one of these trinket dishes. Like I've only seen the final result. So I really don't know what the standard process is. Like this could be stupid. <laughs> what if this is harder than it normally is? Does that even look like a cat? What have you become? I don't even know you anymore. It's actually actually not the worst. It's looking very trinket dishy. Did my cookie cutter idea make the whole thing easier? I don't know, cause I've never made a trinket dish before. So trust me if you'd like, if not, I don't blame you. Either way, this was kind of fun. I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry for many hours, possibly a whole day. I'll be back when it's dry. Why do I have no memory putting Georgie back on the shelf? I must have, because he's back on the shelf. Why don't, why don't I remember doing that? I must have just forgotten. Hey, I'm back. It's been drying for about 24 hours. You mean that this is the next day? Here's the scandalous behind the scenes truth. Most of my art things to do when you're bored videos take me multiple days to film and I just keep putting the same outfit and makeup back on to make it all cohesive. Cool, what do we think about it? Cause uh, if we're being real, it's rough. I know it's a cat, but rough. <laughs> I mean, I know the handmade look is kind of in and it's like rustic and fun, but um, this is like next level rough. This is like prehistoric roughness. I'm hoping that with a cute paint job, we can make something of this. Let's do it. if I like it or I don't like it. The way I drew the pupils is kind of weird. Like I should have just drawn them circular even though cats do have like elongated pupils. Maybe if I just fix the pupils. 
Okay, so I decided I couldn't live with those pupils, so I ended up actually fixing them. It's still really wonky, but at least the paint job I'm much happier with. Okay, so those are all the art things that I have to show you for today. I think I got a good mix of stuff. You know, I did clay, I did painting, I did digital art. I'm so excited that I finally got to introduce Spark to you. Please don't forget to download. It's such an important project, and I really hope that you guys get to have fun and experience it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.